14 was the day that I bought the Sky, my first tenor recorder, a Yamaha, a Kid Yamaha, that is. Now on this very day, it is November 27, 2020, that I finally acquire not just an extra tenor recorder, but tenor recorders. That's right, recorders. There is two of these guys in this package, and they are from the Alos brand, and they are keyless. This one I bought back at Long and McQuaid. These guys, as you can tell from the packaging, are coming from Empire Music. Maybe it's obvious, maybe not. Okay, not from this side of the box, but like over here, it does say Empire. So, I'll move this guy to the frame now, and we're gonna cut into this. Wow! So with that said, this means that it has been exactly six years, almost six years actually, just one day short of six years that I'm getting more antenna recorders. Like, how crazy is that? Six years, guys, six years. Wow, well, almost. I mean, technically I could have just waited an extra day on purpose so that it could be exactly six years, but I'm like, eh, why do that? I got these today and I just feel like opening them this day, that is November 27, 2020. Yes, I know I sound weird and extra saying that, but whatever. <laughs> I do what I do. Okay. And, um, was that even a good idea? Is there actually even. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, there is. Wait, wasn't I supposed to go like. Oh, whatever, it's too late for that. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, I'm cutting very stupidly. It was like, whoa, what was that, man? What was that? Okay, I think you can kind of see them now. You can see the letter. If you're wondering why I bought two and not just one, well, either A, you don't know me well enough, B, you have not seen my Soprano Shalomar unboxing, or C, all of the above. So am I gonna tell you why I bought two right at this moment? No. You're gonna watch the video, that's what you're gonna do. How else are you supposed to find it? Why should I just spoil it right now so just so you can run away with your short attention span? No, man, you're gonna sit down and watch the video. Are there any extra surprises in this? Um, yeah, I think I got the Emperor Music Catalog. Is that my private information? Uh, no, okay, let me bring in the camera now. See Empire Music, 8553 Main Street, Vancouver, British Columbia, 5, no, V5X3M3. And September 20th, wait, why is September 2020? Shouldn't it be November? Okay, so this is what it actually looks like if I Open it up. As you can see, Alos. Oh, would you look at that? Even show you the different recorder models. Let's see if I can find mine here. Wait, no, these are altos? Yes, altos. Okay, as soon as you see 47 centimeters, and you definitely know that's alto. Tenors are like 60. Yes. This one here is the one that I got. The E211A at 61 centimeters long. Uh, oh yeah, they have a keyed one too. And they have the basic. You know, for a long time I've been kind of thinking about getting this, but I wasn't too sure if I really wanted to do it or not. Cause you know, I think it costs between 500 to 600 Canadian dollars at this time. And uh, well, that's quite a bit of money. It's not the most expensive thing, but uh, I'm just not too sure if I want to do that. Like, you know what I really want? A plastic great bass recorder. Yes, that's what I would really love to get. And I might be saying, but hey, it's not going to be far more expensive. Yes, but you know what? At least it's going to be a C recorder because, you know, the great bass is obviously in C. The bass is in F, just like the alto. So that's another reason why I wasn't too keen on getting it because I'm not too sure if I want to dabble with recorders in F. I know the pros do, but I do not consider myself a pro. And why am I looking through this catalog? This must be so darn boring. 
Let's just get into the action. You want to hear how these sound? And I do too. Oh, I even have the name right here. Would you look at that? Okay, so I'm gonna line both of them up. Take this knife out to the picture. Uh, that's quite a bit of glare, but whatever. Oh, so here you have this stick and it looks like a fingering chart as long as I'm not gonna have any need for that whatsoever because I have been playing this thing for six years. But unfortunately, I do not sound like somebody who's been playing for six years. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, not even a height, I'm not gonna pretend I sound nothing like somebody who has been practicing for six years. Because the problem is, is that I keep going on and off and on and off and on and off and I'm just not being consistent. I need to be consistent, guys. Is that something inside of this? Or is that just the way, no, I think that's just the way it is. Huh. Then when you compare this with the Yamaha, this is what it looks like inside. It doesn't have that extra ring. Well, actually, it kind of does. It's just further down in there. So that kind of just took me by surprise when I saw it. I'm like, hmm. Actually, yes, I guess just to compare their parts, eh? Oh, and this thumb hole, too. That's also very different. You look at the Yamaha, I believe this is a 304. Okay, does this have the J2 or does it not? Uh, you can see that it's slightly lubricated. Okay, let's throw that over on the bed. Let's just take out these joints and let's just give it a blow. Because I really, really want to know what it sounds like. I mean, obviously, what do I expect? It's obviously going to sound like a block flute, but... It's not going to sound identical to the Yamaha from what I get to understand. Like, I hear that there's just something kind of different about it. I don't know. Oh, hold on a second. Let me show you something very important. Made, oh, wrong way. <laughs> Made in Japan. Yes, that fine Japanese quality. That's not to say that everything that comes out to Japan is good. Sometimes they can make some pretty crappy products there, but that's oftentimes not the case. They tend to be pretty good with that. Okay. So, um... Uh, whoa. Did I knock my setup? Is it at risk for falling? No, alright. So this definitely feels pretty different from what I've been used to over these years. Because this is entirely keyless, so... Eh... <laughs> you know, let me extend this bottom part a bit and see if it's making it more... Okay, there we go. It feels somewhat more natural. So I show you what it's doing on camera. Actually, then, you know, if I do it, isn't that going to make the tuning weird? Yeah, this definitely feels different, guys. This feels very, very different. So, I know I should start blowing already, but really, it does just feel that different. Okay. Yeah, this is sound really badly out. Actually, okay, that's why it's out of tune. I had it tuned like A415. All right, let's see if this is better now. So as you can tell from that, I'm definitely going to need to get used to this thing because I don't know man, there's just something really different about it. So they weren't kidding that it does sound and feel different from the Yamaha. On the Yamaha, you can tell that I'm going to sound much more natural and comfortable. Wait, let me just fix this key up a bit more. Okay. <laughs>
did that so easily and naturally on that guy. But on this guy now, it's like just, whoa, man, whoa. I mean, recorders are supposed to be keyless anyways, but I just did not get started on the keyless one, and that's why it feels so, so weird. <laughs> Right, I sound like such an absolute mess that I'm just going to put this thing over here and I'm just going to open the other one and I'm just going to show you why I got to in the first place. But again, it should be pretty darn obvious why one would buy two instruments of the exact same kind, exact same variant, and whatnot. Okay. Alright, this one will go off to the left. How long is this video so far? Okay. It's approaching 12 minutes raw time. Although of course when I edit it, it's gonna be very different. But yeah, this thing sounds so different. Like really, really different. Which one I'm gonna end up playing more, I honestly don't know. Maybe if I played Shalomur more, this would perhaps feel a bit more natural because that thing isn't... Actually, no, 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 no. It depends on the Shalomur. Because if it's a soprano Shalomur, then no. Because that thing's fingering and the spacing... Well, I mean, it has similar fingerings, but the finger spacings now is drastically different. Like, Earth and Mars different. Because, I mean, come on. One's a block flute, one's a reeded instrument. You can't expect a finger spacing to be the same. Well, you know, well, you know it's just the size. It's the size that makes the finger spacing so different. Why am I talking about Shalomers now? I don't know. Let's just do what I'm going to do now. And that is to stick two block flutes in one mouth and just go like this. Okay, I'm um, actually having a hard time sticking them both in my mouth. And I'm having a harder time keeping them both in frame. Now it's like you can see almost nothing. everybody's favorite I love that. That is lots and lots and lots of fun. You know what? I might even have to get a second Yamaha just so I can have another one of the exact same variant and it sound exactly... Actually, you know what? Speaking of that, why don't I actually just do just that? See what this would sound like if I had a Yamaha and an Alos together. Yeah, let's see what kind of polyphonic effect that creates. By the way, should I just say that this also feels very weird to have two long things in your mouth at the same time. Yeah, that, that does feel very, very weird. <laughs> no, seriously, it does, especially when we're not used to it. I wish I could have them in the frame instead of you just staring at the shadows, like that's so lame. Actually, if I position the camera further, I probably could have you see them. Or perhaps even better, if I just pointed it at my face. I'm sure that's what you probably want in the first place. You probably must be like, are you ever, ever, 
ever just gonna show your face just straight up? Like, what is going on here? Like, why can't you just point it to you? Like, we want to see you. Or maybe you do not want to see me. Because you know what? If I have to be honest, I do not want to see you because you are ugly and I think you stink and you smell like poo. <laughs> such nice, nice words, eh? I'm such a nice, nice person. probably going to end up being 20 maybe even 30 minutes because I just love the sound of two instruments going off at once mm, so beautiful oh my goodness I can't get enough of the sound oh no it sounds so good what a sweet 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 thing <laughs> I have to remember that this is going on the internet and that I can't... Actually, no, I can make it as strange as I want. Because what channel is this again? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. It's Guzaka. That means I can make it as weird as I want to be. I do not have to get this guy's approval. I don't have to get that guy's approval. It's just what I want it to be and not what you want it to be. So if it is not what you want to be, then you need to disappear. But you know what? You love this video. In fact, you love it so much it might just make you subscribe. Unsubscribe. Leave a nice comment. Leave an unkind... Actually, you cannot leave an unkind comment because if you leave an unkind comment, you're going to get nuked. <laughs> All right. Back to the sweet sound, shall we? Yeah, you don't want to hear me just chatting and saying this and that. Or actually, no, you do want to hear me chatting, but perhaps even more, you just want to hear the sound of these guys going off together. And yes, a Yamaha and the Alos, they actually sound really, really darn good. I mean, you would probably not even know that it's a Yamaha. Actually, okay, never mind. You would know because you can see both of their feet. So obvious. Well, actually, then again, would you be able to tell that this is an, a Yamaha if I didn't say so? Like, Alos does make a keyed version too, as you just saw in the catalog earlier. Unless you skipped that part. But I don't think you did. I, for some reason, I think that everybody who clicked on this video is probably watching every second of it. Or at least I would hope so. Because really, if you're skipping and you're being weird like that, then yikes, you really, really should not be on this channel because on this channel, the videos can be long like a reticulate python, so. <coughs> You know, 
this would not be a Guzakin video if I didn't try to do some of those harmonics that I typically do on the Yamaha. So it's be interesting to see how it sounds on the Alos. Hmm. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.